This video is going to walk you through multiplying three-digit numbers using the lattice method. I'll walk you through two examples. One will be a three-digit number times a two-digit number. The other, three-digit by three-digit. At the end of the video, I'm going to give you an example of your own that you can solve the test that you've learned. I have a couple other videos on the lattice method of multiplication. I'll put links to those videos in the description if you want to check them out. Example one, what is 318 times 46? First, we need to set up our problem correctly. The first number is three digits, so we're going to draw three boxes like this. Second number has two digits, so we make sure we have two rows of the same boxes. We add diagonal lines through each box, which will help separate our ones, tens, hundred places, and so on. We start from the right and multiply our top digit by one of the rows in the side. So, 8 times 4 is equal to 32. We put a three digit on the left hand side of the diagonal, and 2 goes on the right hand side. We then multiply 8 times 6. That answer is 48. So 4 goes on the left and 8 goes on the right. We next move to the middle column and we're going to multiply everything by 1. 1 times 4 is 4. Since there's no tens digit in 4, we simply put a 0 on the left hand side and 4 on the right. Next is 1 times 6. 0 go on the left. 6 goes on the right. Finally, the far left column. 3 times 4 is 12. We fill in those digits like this, and 3 times 6 is 18, so we put the 1 here and the 8 here. Now that we've finished all of our multiplication, we can get to the addition portion. Just like standard multi-digit multiplication, we add up our numbers, but instead of adding up columns, we're going to be adding diagonal rows. We start from the right hand side and see our first diagonal section is just the number 8, so we write down 8. The next section of numbers in the diagonal are 6 plus 4 plus 2, which equals 12. We place the 2 down here and carry the 1 to the next section. The next section has 8 plus 0 plus 4 plus 3 plus the 1 we carried over. That answer is 16. We put down the 6 and carry the 1 to the next section. 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4. Our final section is just the number 1. Our answer is all the numbers on the outside of the box. So, 318 times 46 is equal to 14,628. Now you may be wondering if it matters if the boxes are set up as 2 by 3, or can they be set up as 3 by 2? The answer is, it doesn't really matter. Pause the video for a second, rewrite the problem we just did as 46 times 318, see if you get the same answer. You should. Example 2. What is 429 times 156? This problem will have three boxes across and three rows down. We set up our boxes and diagonal lines and drop our numbers up top and along the sides. 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times 5 is 45. 9 times 6 is 54. Next column. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 6 is 12. Last column. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 6 is 24. We add our numbers up, starting from the right-hand side. 4 is just 4. 2 plus 5 plus 5 is 12. Put down the 2, carry the 1 to the next section. 4 plus 1 plus 0 plus 4 plus 9 plus the 1 we carried over equals 19. Put the 9 down here, carry the 1 to the next section. 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 0 plus the 1 we carried over is equal to 6. Next section, 2 plus 4 plus 0 is also equal to 6. Last one, 0 is equal to 0. The numbers down the side are 0, 6, 6, 9, 2, 4, which is the same thing as 66,924. It's really important that you draw your lines well when using the lattice method. I can't say the lattice method is any quicker, but it's a different way of looking at things to still get the same answer. Just be sure to pick your time and put the digits in the correct place. Okay, last example. What is 790 times 223? Try the problem yourself and leave your answer in the comments. If you're looking for more math tips and tutorials, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for me. And if you're able to follow along, hit that thumbs up. Thanks again for watching.